We're gonna grab some minnows and put them in this tank. Got our feeders. Okay, okay, okay. He's getting pissed, he's getting pissed. He's not happy. He is not happy about this. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day. And as you can see back here, this is our flower horn tank. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. I'm gonna put a clip right here of when we actually put him in the tank because he's a beautiful flower horn. Come on, buddy. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so, I'm so freaking awesome. He is so sick. So as you can see, guys, we absolutely love him. He's awesome. But the problem is, is that he's a little, look, there he's out, he's out there. There, we can get him. He's swimming around now, but he's just a little shy. That's our problem. So we got recommended to put mirrors up to the thing, like, up to his tank, like for 20 minutes a day. We've been doing that. And to put some minnows on the top to really get him, get him going, get him a little aggravated. So we're gonna go to Pet Soup Market. We're gonna grab some minnows and put him in this tank and see how he reacts. We've never done this before. I have no idea what to expect. But as you can see, he's just hiding behind that piece of driftwood. to put the driftwood back in there to make him feel a little bit more comfortable. But as you can see, he's just really shy. And um, we wanna just get him out. So he's in the corner there, just hanging out. So we're gonna get some minnows for him and um, see how he reacts to them. So let's go to Pet Supermarket, grab those minnows and get them pissed off. We want him to get Feisty, man. We want him to be at the top of the tank, going crazy. So let's get him going. By the way, beta tank giveaway, December first. We're announcing. Hit the subscribe button. Check us out on Instagram, cause uh, you have a chance to win this beautiful tank. I'll show you guys the actual tank right now. This is this one, right there. Look how gorgeous that tank is, and look how gorgeous that beta fish looks. Amazing. Such a great looking beta fish. We're breeding them very soon, so be ready. Um, let's get to pet supermarket. Go get some minnows and let that flower horn wax them, baby. Let's go. Off to barrier. And we made it. OG spot, barrier reef, let's do it. Look at these koi, guys. That one is sick. Let us know if you guys want us to do a mini koi pond. I think it would look awesome doing a mini koi pond. And uh, obviously, what's up, my boy Jimbo? How you doing? Knuckles. That's a tradition, guys. You ever come to the Barrier Reef? Always stop by and say hi to Jimbo. No eyes. Fish got no eyes. Jimbo's brother. You're gonna zoom in on him. It's Jimbo's brother. What's his name? What's Jimbo's brother's name? Well, he's gonna be sold. Somebody's gonna buy him. Jimbo's brother's name is Dave. What's up, Dave? Knuckles. Dave. Knuckles. Yeah. There's a baby flower horn, guys. Way more aggressive than ours. Yeah. Ours is not very aggressive. Hopefully, he'll get aggressive. Like this one. Look, he's already coming up to the. Glass, so I put my finger up there. That's what we want ours to do. And I really think this albino Oscar is really cool. He's, he's got almost no orange on him, it's just all white, which I think is really awesome. All right, guys, and you can't see him very well, but these are the guys we're gonna get and put in our tank for the flower horn to absolutely destroy. So, uh, and maybe he won't even destroy him. Maybe they'll just be friends. We'll see. Because ours is not very aggressive at all. These are also very cool. I want a mini pond with these. These are sick, these Dalmatian. Mollies are so awesome. Look at them all come to the surf. <laughs> Jack, dude, I think we do these, bro. These are so lit. Guys, they have another panther grouper. We have to get him. We have to get him. Oh my god, look at him, dude. I love, that's my favorite fish in the world. Panther groupers. Absolutely. 30 bucks. My favorite fish in the world. Look at him. It's so sick. All right, guys, got our feeders. Just gonna take him on home. See how our flower horn appreciates these guys. I hope he gets a little pissed off, but we'll see. He might not even bother him, so we'll see when we get to the house. Back to the crib. Oh, package secured. There you go. He's warming up. Oh yeah, there he is, buddy. Thank God. Oh my God! Don't go back behind the thing. No. See, see guys, this is what happens every time we feel the light. Every time we come in here, he just goes behind this, and he sits there like this that. This is the real test. Come on, I, I, once he sees these, is the real test. He's probably, when we put him in, he's not gonna see him at first, but once we put these guys in, hopefully, he'll wax them. All right guys, so we're gonna put, we lowered all the lights in the room. We're gonna put in some feeders and see what, he, see what happens. He's behind, the driftwood, which is the only problem. I don't know why he just doesn't. Oh, he's behind the driftwood. Yeah, that's weird. I'm frustrated. Yeah. I spent a pretty penny on this fish. Exactly. He's exactly. It's not what they're supposed to do. I so really we get this feeder out, put him in. 
Whoa. The first. Oh my god, I almost just dropped a whole bag. That would have been bad. He's out. He's out. Yes. There he is. Guys, we have to be quiet. We have to whisper. Look at this fish. Okay, okay, okay. He doesn't Does he see him? I don't think he sees him. No, oh, he does. he does. He does. He's getting pissed. He's getting pissed. He's not happy. He is not happy about this. Oh my god. No, he went back in the corner. I wonder if he's gonna get like he sees himself in the reflection. No, that's us. If you look, you, he can't see himself. Like I know it looks like he can see himself there, but he actually can't. Oh my god, he's pissed. He's getting pissed. No, what is he? Come on, he's bro. Not happy. He's definitely a little, a little, little angry, but he's not being aggressive towards I the fish. Maybe you should just set the camera up and clear it. See what happens. All right, guys, we're gonna. Should we put another one in there? Oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna throw. One. I don't want to miss anything. There's the second one. There's no, the other one. He saw it, and now he's, he's doing like a little weird dance there. I think we should set the camera up and just leave him and see what happens. Yeah. This is not what a normal flower hunt would be doing right now. He would be very angry attacking these fish right now. But we're gonna set this camera up right here and see what happens. All right, guys. So as you can see, for right now, with those two guppies, he hasn't done anything. He's been he's been a little or yeah, feeders. Sorry, but he's been a little, I guess, active, more active now that we put those two in. But we're gonna put the rest in and just try to get them really, really going and see what see what happens. Oh, right, here goes the other ones. Actually, Let's put those three and those two. We get, got we got a, mad, buddy. We got a total of ten. So another one. All right, guys, I think that's eight. There's two left. Yeah, so that's eight in there right now. So we're going to leave these guys, see what the heck happens. We're going to back up a little bit because clearly he gets a little nervous when we come around the tank. So we're going to put this down, back up just a tad, see what happens. All right, guys, as you can see, he barely even went up to one. He almost looked scared of some of them. He's just, it's just, he's just not aggressive. I don't know what it is. It's just, he's just not a, like a normal flower horn would be so pissed off eating all these guppies. So I don't know what to do. He's kind of, it's kind of weird. He's just sitting behind the, behind the driftwood there. And he's normally they would go crazy. Like we just went, when we went to the store and we just saw that baby flower horn, you put your finger up to, to it and the thing goes crazy. So. We're just, we're trying different things to like get him more comfortable to get him a little more aggressive, but clearly he did not even care for the guppies or even think about them, but whatever. We got two extra guppies or three. Maybe we should go feed the tarpon with him. He hasn't had a good, nice live meal in a while. So uh, maybe he'll eat them. Let's go check it out. So yeah, guys, that fish has only been in there for about a couple days, three days, four days. So we're gonna give him the rest of the week, try to get him warmed up to us and uh, hopefully he'll eat sometime soon. We don't really care if he's aggressive, we just want him to be, have fun with us up at the tank and just be a cool fish to watch. Right now he just hides behind the, uh, the log, which is, no. does nothing. But, Jack, should we feed these to the tarpon? Yeah, let's, let's run it. Let's go uh, feed these to the tarpon, give him a nice little live meal to end the video. Let's check it out. All right guys, might as well just liven these up because they they've been a little bored in here. You know, they missed their pond. And I, I can't blame them, so they'll be back in there soon, but might as well live them up, throw these in there, see what happens. Because the gar, the gar loves live food, so I would be really happy if he, he ate one of these. That'd be really good. Because as you can see, if you're new here to the channel, we got our tarpon, our Indo-Pacific tarpon, we got our big Paku, three albino sharks, and a regular Florida gar, um, a red tail cat that's big, pretty big, Marblacara, and a bunch of plecos. So that's what we got here in the pond. Ready? Right now, yeah, let's throw that guy in there. I don't think he'll get eaten. Everyone's a little just turned up, I think. All right, this is the last two. The fish are so lost. They're lost. The fish are, as you can see, all we, of our fish are lost. Yeah, exactly, dude. Our fish, they're just a little out of it lately. Even these guys, because they're in this pond here, we're gonna be putting them back in very soon, as soon as we get a heater, which we're hoping this week. But 
As you can see, even them, they're just a little, a little freaked out, but that's right. They'll be back in their home soon enough and they'll probably eat those uh, throughout the day. They probably don't even see them, honestly. They're just so small. That is it for today's video. I know our fish have been extra weird in this in today's video. Every Everything's just all over the place, but we'll try to get back into it. Try to get these guys back in their home by the end of the week. I want them in, honestly, next week. I want them in tomorrow, honestly, but. Thanksgiving. Yeah, we just gotta wait for this heater to come in. And then once it's in, once it's in, we'll put them back in the pond and everything will be okay. But anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. Um, drop a comment, drop a like, hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys in the next one.